are going to talk about lengthening out your back handspring. So those of you that have trampolines at home, we're going to talk about making your back handspring longer, straighter, tighter. Okay. So first thing is if you have a trampoline at your house, you make sure that your parents are uh, know what you're doing. Okay. I know it's hard. You probably wouldn't be able to follow along with the video, but take some notes and then go outside and practice. Okay. All right. So uh, again, the first thing that we're going to do is some warm up bounces. Okay. So Jada, give us some warm up bounces. Okay. You always want to kind of warm up and get used to the trampoline. Doing some bounces, arm circle bounces, up, down, up, down, up, down. All right. Now, you should probably stretch if you're going to do a video. Uh, if you're, I mean, if you're going to do some back handsprings and stuff like that. Um, but just getting pretty warm on the trampoline before you start flipping is a good idea. Okay, again, on the trampoline, if you feel like you're going to fall off, you should just jump off. Okay, I know most of you guys have nets and you can't just jump off, but if you don't, uh, you never want to step um, one foot on and one foot off of the trampoline or one foot on and one foot off of the pad, okay? So uh, we're going to be doing one exercise in this video that you may need a mat for, um, but we've got one here, and I do want, when we get there, I want to say, say another safety thing as well, okay? All right, so basically this video is assuming that you already have your back handspring. This is an intermediate video, okay? So... You already have your back handspring on the trampoline. These are things you can do on the trampoline to lengthen out your handspring. First off, you should not be able to fit more than one handspring on your trampoline unless you are little bitty, okay? Unless you are like under four feet tall, okay? So there. There's two really short, icky back handsprings. Jade is pretty tall, but still, you really shouldn't be able to fit more than one back handspring on your trampoline. So what you're going to do first is you're going to stand at the edge of your trampoline. Okay, and you're going to do a back handspring. You can start with, yeah, you can swing. You're going to do a back handspring, okay, and try to take up your whole back handspring, uh, your whole trampoline with one back handspring. Now, this time, Jay, just stand up. Good, okay? So you don't really want to get in the habit necessarily of falling forward after your handsprings, okay? Even though this drill, when you lengthen them out, okay, this drill kind of uh, promotes that a little bit if you don't push off your hands. But that's another good part about this drill is that you have to push off your hands to be able to stand up, okay? So you don't want to end your back handspring falling forward, okay? All right, let's do one more like that, Jada. Good, okay? So that's the first drill that we're going to do, okay? The second drill that we're going to do is uh, back handspring with, um, you can use a multitude of different things, okay? Um, for this particular drill, I'm going to use a piece of paper, okay, and she's going to put a piece of paper between her legs. Now, you can put it at different places. She's going to start with it up high. That's probably easier. Okay, don't bounce before it. Just do a regular back handspring. Again, taking up the whole trampoline. Don't let the piece of paper come out. Basically, all these drills, you should probably do at least 10 of each. Okay, that way you can get used to the drill and try to perfect it. Okay, um, now put it between your knees. That's the hard part. For some people, depending on their body type too, this is hard too. Okay, stop bouncing. All right, ready? Squeeze. Ah, barely kept it in. Good. Okay, now the hardest one is it with in between your feet. Okay, that is probably the hardest one because you actually have to squeeze your big toe of your right foot to the big toe of your left foot, okay, because that's where you want the paper, okay, you ready, hey, she did it, Jada can keep her feet together, good job, okay, so again, show them Jada really quick, um, stand right here on the pad, show them where you have the piece of paper, stand on the pad, okay, it was right between her feet, just like that, Right toe, left toe, squeeze, okay? Now, um, if you have a habit, or if I have told you that you have a habit of throwing your head back in your back handspring, okay? Um, you are good friends with Mr. Noodle, okay? So, um, we're going to get a block. We're going to get a block. 
instead of a noodle. Instead of a noodle. But you can use a noodle, a pool noodle that you've cut. We're using a pit block, okay? Um, you can use uh, a sock, a rolled up sock, shoe, okay? Um, but that helps you not throw your head back, okay? So again, 10 of each. If it falls out, it doesn't count, by the way. Okay, ready? Okay, so good. And while you're doing all these drills, you still want to take up the whole trampoline, okay? All right, the next drill that we're going to do, and again, see how she let herself fall forward that time? Again, you want to push up from the trampoline and not let yourself fall forward, okay? At the end of your handstand. All right, okay, so this drill, um, not everybody will be able to do this drill, and that's okay, okay? Um, but we have a little space here. If you have a mat at home, you can stack up a mat kind of um, on the uh, end of your trampoline, the edge of one of your trampolines, okay? Now, what I want you to understand, if you don't have a net, okay, so what would you do if you fell over? I want you to twist and come back over. So if you fell over in your handstand when you're doing this drill, you would want to twist and come back over and land on your feet. Okay? And that would obviously not be on another trampoline. It would be off onto the, onto the ground. But if you fall off, you just want to push off. Be in control. Jump off. Push off. Be prepared to land. Do that one more time. Push off with your hands a little bit. Okay? So that you're just pushing off onto the ground or another mat or what have you. Okay? If you have a net, you're probably not going to fall off. Okay? All right. So, and on these, you don't have to go all the way up to a handstand. Okay, that's the other thing on these. You don't have to go all the way up to a handstand. You want to get close, but not all the way up. Or you don't have to anyway. You can, but. Okay, what you're going to do is just put your hands on the mat first. And you're just going to bounce. And do like, you're just, uh, like handstand pop-up. Like in the beginning of class when we warm up. Okay? Now, um, the next one is you're going to go... Handstand, and then you're going to rebound up and reach up to the sky. So handstand and rebound up. Okay? Now, we know we're going to make that back handspring long. Okay? So what this time you're going to do is handstand, rebound up, but you're going to scoop your feet forward a little bit to travel backwards. See how that time she traveled backwards? Okay? Now, um, this time we're going to go handstand, snap down, scoop your feet, back handspring okay that's a good drill for connecting stuff okay you could also do this as a tuck drill okay um, if you have your back tuck um, it's a good um, combination drill okay so do the back handspring one more time you got to make sure you scoop your feet and stand up good and she's not letting herself come forward at the end of that handspring and that's great she's taking up the whole trampoline and that's even better now do the tuck <laughs> okay, you can also do that with layouts and folds. Okay, um, so <laughs> she was like, I want to do it with a fold. Yeah, she keeps landing a little short, so that's making her fall forward. All right, so the next drill that we're going to do is you have to be able to do a seat drop really well. Okay, so we're going to show just the beginning of the drill where we do a seat drop. So start with your arms down and then bring them back up. Down and up. Down and up. One more and up. Okay, now, when you stand up from your seat drop this time, okay, you're going to keep that angle. You're going to keep your 45 degree angle, arms up by your ears, and use your legs to really press backwards to travel in your back handspring. It's isolating your legs. Okay, so you're going to go seat drop to back handspring. Good. One more. Show that angle. Seat drop, press. Good. Okay, so um, last back handspring drill uh, is you're going to go in the middle of your trampoline, arms up by your ears, and you're going to jump forward, your feet forward, and lean in the air to that angle that you were at just a minute in, a minute ago in your seat drop. Oh, 
Okay, that was too deep of an angle. I think she did a head spring on that one. Okay, you got to make sure that those arms are stretched up nice and tall, pressing up through the shoulders. Okay? All right. So um, the next thing that we're going to do, I'll let her take a little bit of a breather. It's just fun to do some fun combinations. Um, is uh, front handsprings, and then we're going to go front handspring to back handspring, and TikToks. Okay? It's just good body control, and it's kind of fun to do. And it actually looks pretty impressive, and it's like a, a fun little party trick. Okay? All right. We're going to start out with front handsprings. Jada came up with a few front handspring drills that are kind of fun. Okay? Um, so the first one that we're going to do, if you haven't seen Trampoline Basics, you should watch Trampoline Basics on how to do a front drop. Okay? But she's going to go front drop to front handspring. Okay? It's the same as a back handspring. You want to take up the whole entire trampoline. But what we're trying to help you understand here is the angle of your front handspring. Just like the angle of your back handspring. Okay, so she did a front drop, and she's not going to stand up all the way. She's going to put her feet on the floor. Okay, she kind of has to birdie her arms, and I think that's just kind of part of it. Yeah. Once you get used to it, you might not have to do that, but it's just kind of part of it. Okay, so boom, angle. Okay, it helps you kind of understand how much you're using your legs and that the rest of your body is just staying nice and tight and straight. Okay, now, you just look at me. Okay. So the next one is kind of doing one from your knees. It's a little bit less scary when you're going from your knees because you're not as high off the ground. Okay? So you're getting that angle with your knees and then straightening up to push through your feet. Okay? So again, you'll need to know how to do a good knee drop. So you want to knees together, squeeze, squeeze your bottom. Okay. She just went from her knees. Okay. All right. So um, the last front handspring drill that we're going to do is you're going to stand in the middle of your trampoline. Okay. And you're going to like when you do this, when you go, when you do the back handspring or the front handspring, you're actually your chest and upper body stay over the middle X. You're really only moving your feet backwards or your feet forward if you're doing the back handspring. But her chest and head and arms are going to stay over the X that she's on right now. Okay. So. She's, scoot, she's scooting her feet backwards to get at an angle because her chest is staying at the same place it is right now. Watch it again. She's scooting her feet back and her face and chest is still over the X in the middle of your trampoline. Okay? Now, here's your fun parlor trick. Okay? I'll try. She's going to try and then I might show you. We'll see. I think she can do it. It's back handspring, front handspring, back handspring, front handspring. It's like a TikTok. Okay? Where you go back and forth. It's kind of scary at first, okay? You really got to ease into it. But I'll show you. Wow. Okay, so... Um, another thing that Jade and I didn't talk about before this video, um, but that I would like to go ahead and talk about is whips. Okay. If you're working whips, um, these back handspring drills, uh, can be converted into whip drills. It's the same thing. Okay. So in the beginning, okay, obviously you're not going to do a standing whip. Okay. But what you want, what you want to do is get a little bounce. Okay. Yeah, okay, but stand in the middle of the uh, trampoline, arms up by your ears, jump far forward, and a whip is a back handspring with no hands. Okay, so you're going to do the same thing that you do, okay, but you want to open the shoulders a little more, okay, good, and have those arms circled back up at the end. So a little, just a little higher. There you go. See, and now she's kind of circling those arms back up at the end. One more. And lift up. There we go. Okay. Now, that's like a whip. Okay. Um, you can do the other one a little bit more difficult from a seat drop. I don't know how high you want to bounce. Depends on your trampoline. Okay. Good. <laughs> but that one was better because she whipped her feet at the end. Okay. The whip is not about throwing your head back. It's about the same thing that your back handspring is about. Using your legs to push and get around. So in a whip, you're pushing with your feet, and you're whipping your legs around. You're not whipping your face 
your shoulders, your hands, your neck, your chest, you're whipping your feet. What she just did was whipping her head and head and chest. Okay? And that's not what you want to do. Okay? You're pushing through your legs, you're opening your chest, but you're pulling and whipping your legs through, not your upper body. Okay? So do the seat drop drill. One more time. So you can go seat drop, hands down, hands up, whip. Now that was a little short, okay? But it was good technique as far as the seat drop. Seat drop, angle, whip, good. And see how she goes up almost every time? It's because she's creating a lot of power with those with that whip. Um, now, let's try uh, the handstand snap down whip. Okay. Um, again, you always want to take up the whole entire trampoline. Okay, when you're talking about handsprings or whips. So we're going to try the handstand snap down drill. Now, on this one, what you want to do is lift the hands up like you were before. Okay? You want to gain a little bit more um, power. So she's actually going to lift her arms up after every one because we need a little more with the width. Nice. That was a good one. Very nice. You can do this with a folded up wedge mat as well. Okay, you want a little bit of height on that. The lower your mat is, the harder this is going to be. But it just means you'll have to push off from your hands harder. Okay, it doesn't mean that you can't do the drill. Okay, um, <clears throat> so that's always good. Okay, um, and if you want to get real creative, you could go like back whip, front straight, back whip, front straight. But we'll talk about that later. Okay, like as your TikTok with no hands. Um, but you need to build up to that for sure. Oh, yeah. He's right here. Yeah, but I wouldn't say that those are really whips. <laughs> All right, um, take a rest for just a second, and we're going to talk a little bit about beginning back tucks. Okay, we've already gone over some of this stuff in another video, um, but I thought it was um, worth going over again. Um, so when you, if you know how to do a back tuck, these things can help you. You know, if you, if you're, if you're just kind of flicking your body around and you can do a back flip, these things will kind of help you with your, uh, form. If you've never done one before, the drills will help you, but I do not suggest you actually doing it. Okay. Unless your parents are like, yeah, go for it. Okay. But don't actually do the back tuck if you don't know how to do a back tuck, but these drills will help you. Uh, in your form and other things for your back tuck, okay? So where I always start back tucks is a fun place to start is back drops okay? because they're a lot alike. You're basically going uh, a quarter of the way through with a back tuck when you're doing a back drop, okay? So the back drop position, lay on the trampoline for me. Okay, so the back drop position is like an upside down cow. Okay, so you want to be like this. Your, your head's on the ground, your whole back is on the ground, your whole spine is on the ground, your feet are up to the ceiling, and your hands are up to this, you're pointed up to the ceiling. Okay? So when you do that backdrop, watch, she's not going to travel when she does the backdrop. That's the, that's the thing that most people always uh, start out with messing up, is that you see she's on the X, and when she goes up, okay, her back is going to be on the X now. Because all she's doing is stretching up to the ceiling, pulling her feet far enough forward that she lands on her back, okay? And um, her core is engaged and tight the whole entire time, okay? So once you get to the point where you can do a really good backdrop, okay, then you can go a little higher, okay, and do a backdrop and kind of get in your tough body shape, boom, okay? Get in your tough body shape in the beginning of the backdrop. I don't really care what the end necessarily looks like. There you go. Okay, but you can reach up really tall, kind of pull your shins and toes forward, and get in your tough body shape and land on your back. Now, once you've perfected the backdrop, and then perfected the backdrop in the tough body shape before your back hits, then you can start backdrop pullovers. Backdrop pullovers are just pulling over to your feet. Okay? They're a lot like a back tuck, and they're really good um, to help you understand rotation. Okay, so back drop and pull over. Okay, 
First, you need to know how to do a backward roll on the trampoline. I would start with backward rolls, okay? And then I would watch the trampoline basics video, and it really goes through um, backdrop pullovers, okay? Um, but you see how she just went to her knees? Okay, you can go backdrop pullover to your knees. What you don't want to do is go backdrop and try to, like, kick your feet up and throw your head back. Okay, see what she just did? You don't want to do that. Okay, that's not how you do a backflip or a backdrop pullover, and it's dangerous. Okay, you always want to keep your chin to your chest in these backdrop pullovers and pull your feet over your head. You can always use your hands to get up if it's low and you're scared, okay? Or you can always land in doggy position like Jada did. Okay, doggy position is a great safe position, okay? So, but what you don't want to do is throw your head back and pull your chin up and look for the ground. You want to keep your eyes on your legs coming over, your core engaged, and your chin to your chest. Okay? So that's a great drill. And once you can do that, you just get higher and higher and higher. Um, and that's a great drill for back tuck. So, uh, let's see. So, um, just a stand. Don't bounce. You're going to do a knee drop, and you're going to land on your knees, and then you're going to pull through to your back. Pull through. Good. And see how she, and you can even do a backdrop pullover after that. Okay, but what this is focusing on is in the beginning of your back tuck, how you rotate the back tuck is by pulling your shins and toes forward in front of your chest and pulling them all the way around over. Like you're trying to show the bottom of your shoe to someone standing in front of you where this little blue panel mat is over here. Okay, like you're trying to show them the bottom of your shoe. Okay, the quicker you show them the bottom of your shoe, the quicker your tuck is going to start to rotate in the beginning. And all you have to do is continue to pull through. Okay, so this is a really good drill. You can also do it from the doggy position, and it just makes it harder. Okay, so it makes it a little bit, uh, it's, a, it's a good rotation drill as well. Um, I like the knee drop with the arms up by the ears better, because in the beginning of the back tuck, you're going to have the arms up by the ears. So I do like the knee drop better, okay? Um, I think it's more like the back tuck is going to be, but it's still good, okay? All right, now, watch the back tuck. Now, when you guys start doing the back tuck, you find a spot, okay? Like right now, Jada's gonna be looking at the pit, okay? And you guys know in the gym where the pit is, okay? But she's gonna be looking at the pit the whole time. And she's gonna see the pit, and her legs come up at the same time. Okay, do it again, arms up. Balance with your arms up by your ears. Okay? Good. Now, Jada, I want you to do one. Okay, with your arms down, start like this, and as you go into your back tuck, swing into it. This is a bad example. Okay, it was a decent tuck body shape, but a bad example of a starting position. Swing into it harder and really do a bad one. And swing. Okay, uh, it's hard for her to do an actual bad one where she throws her head back, but you don't want to swing into your back tuck, okay? I see a lot of people do that on their home trampolines. You want to start with your arms up by your ears, yes, and keep looking at, a, at the spot. Now, at the end of your tuck, you don't pull your face up to look at that spot. You should be looking at the trampoline, okay? Now, okay, um, something, last thing that can kind of help you, um, Last thing we'll go over before we're done for today um, is uh, you can get a noodle or a stuffed animal or something that's kind of soft. Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to hold it up by your ears like this. And it's, you're going to bounce with it over your head. Okay? And when you go, you're going to try to leave it over your head and look at your spot, okay? whether that's a spot on your net or something out in your yard. You're going to still do the same thing. Everything's still the same. You're going to hold it up over your head and try to bring your shin to the block. Good. Okay, and see how she kind of came out of it? Press a little higher. Good. There you go. Now, she's holding it up at the end. Um, there's benefits in holding it up at the end and benefits of holding it down at the end. You should try both. Okay, touch your shins to it and then hold it back up and then touch your shins to it and keep it down. Okay, there's definitely benefits to both. 
when we start twisting, you're going to want to keep your arms down at the end. So you're not going to want to bring your arms up at the end of the flip. And that's good to be able to hold your arms down at the end of the flip as well. Okay? All right. So that's the last thing that we're going to talk about about back tucks today. Um, our next video, I would love to go back over um, uh, back twisting and front twisting and twisting combinations. Okay? So... Uh, that's probably going to be our next video next week. I know a lot of you have air tracks and trampolines. And we're also going to do an air track video of round off drills, back handspring drills, back tuck drills on the air track and combination videos on the air track. Um, so look for those next week. They won't be live videos. They'll be um, pre-recorded videos, but I'll put out a link to the YouTube channel of stuff that you guys can do on the air track. And if you have equipment and some mats at home, um, we're going to do uh, some drills for those of you that have equipment. So most of the stuff that we've done, obviously, aside from the trampoline, is stuff that we can do with minimal equipment because I know most of you don't have mats at home. And I know most of you don't have those things at home. So we try to help you guys out without using equipment. So some of our drills, you know, are like super basic and we don't, you know, we do way more in the gym most of the time. Um, but we do realize you guys are at home and you have limited equipment. So that's what this series has all been about thus far. Okay. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Tumbling for Dancers is next. Um, I don't have a subject with me to do Tumbling for Dancers. So I'm going to do the best that I can. We'll see how it works out. Okay. All right. See you later.